So IDEO has been very visionary in organizing the what we call today the uh, Future Network Car. Uh, we started the first event at least 10 years ago called the Future Network Car. So back then it was probably one of the very few events uh, that tackled this uh, topic. But now the uh, fully network car or the network car is in everybody's uh, everybody's agenda. So we're very happy that this year we were able to uh, collaborate again with uh, UNECE. The uh, fully network car is a topic where you need both standards, international standards, and you also need uh, a good regulatory environment. And so uh, UNECE with its working party uh, 29 is uh, responsible for regulatory uh, issues. So we're very happy that we have a closer and closer collaboration with UNEC. The uh, manufacturers would like to uh, address global <laughs> markets. And they don't want to uh, address regional or even national markets. Uh, so you know, all the, the companies, uh, the, the mobile phone companies or the car companies, they're all international companies. So it's important to have uh, international standards and not uh, silo the uh, regional standards. Well, there is a very small step, which uh, tomorrow we will have the meeting of uh, the uh, collaboration on ITS uh, communication standards. That's a group uh, that's organized by ITU. And we also have uh, more and more work within the study groups that send around the topic of uh, ITS, uh, International Telecommunication Services. For example, you know, one of the, uh, the questions that has also been addressed at this and will be addressed at this workshop is, suppose your car is fully connected, uh, and suppose you find a bug somewhere in the software. How do you actually make a software update? Yeah, so that's also one of the uh, one of the questions that's being addressed by by ITU.